Hey everyone, uh, here's my Indy uh, with cover removed. Here's the optical drive, uh, which is normally in that slot, but I've got it pulled out so I can look at it. Here's a disc formatted on another machine. Can you guess what's going to happen? Oh yes. Welcome to hell. So this is what I've been dealing with for a couple of weeks. Um, I've been chipping away at it a little by a little. Um, so this thing used to like grab onto discs and just hold onto them tight. I don't really do anything with them. Uh, it has a motorized eject mechanism. The motor for that is actually up here. It's this one right here. And uh, the whole ejection tray was gunked up. Oh wow, it actually detected the disc. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, but the whole ejection tray was gunked up, so I had to take this whole thing apart and degrease it. Uh, maybe I should make a video on how to do that, because that was not intuitive. Um, the head on this thing is really interesting. So, it's got like a normal sliding head on a track. Oh, let's see if I can get it to do stuff. Alright, so you can see it moving. Um, but it doesn't move just the... Uh, the head sled by itself. Uh, on the sled, the head can move a little bit with this electromagnet in here, I guess. So it has like this coarse movement on the sled and then fine movement of just the head by itself. Which is very, very interesting. Um, I think that's sort of unique to the flopticals. Speaking of flopticals, let me eject this and put a flopticle disc in and you can see what goes on there. Spoilers, it doesn't work, but uh, it has a really interesting failure mode that you would not see with a normal disc. There we go. So, uh, as you might expect, the heads are not aligned on here. Uh, here's a flopticle, by the way. It looks just like a normal floppy disk, um, like a normal 2HD, except, normal HD disk, I should say, except uh, the right protect tab is on the other side. Uh, let me put them side by side. You can see that. Right protect tab on the floptical, right protect tab on a regular disc. Other than that, they seem to be identical. I don't know how it detects uh, which kind of media this is. Um, hmm. Anyway, let's put this in. Now, remember I said it has that fine control for the head location. I don't know if you can see this, but it actually it will seek to the end, and then it will use the fine control to like try to dial in the location of something. And it sort of goes back and forth, over and over again, and eventually it'll just um, do that thing where it goes uh, full extension backward and forward. makes this horrible screeching noise while it does it. Uh, but whatever it's looking for, it can't find. I assume that the heads are uh, not aligned. And uh, yeah. So that's what I'm gonna spend my evening working on. Um, let me know if you have any ideas. By the way, if you really wanna help me out, I'll tell you what I need. So here's the top cover for this drive. No, oh, you can see my serial number, oh no. Uh, it's an Insight Flopsical Model I-325BM. And if you have the manual for this thing, or if you know how to align the heads on it, do let me know, and soon, because otherwise I'm just going to start tweaking these little screws and stuff and see what happens. That's it. Uh, thank you for watching.